your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. That's 514 here on your Wednesday morning. I almost said Monday. Goodness no, gracious, I'm glad that. it's not a Monday. What's, We're halfway through the week what's now. What's your song? Uh, my, oh gosh, you put me on the spot. We, we put stone on the spot, too. I, I was trying to come up with a song that uh, had the word stone in it. Oh. oh. I don't know. Is there any? Papa but was a rolling stone. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Singing in the rain for me is my song. There you go. So, because yeah, yeah. despite despite you know whatever's going around, you can still find some happiness in your life. There you go. How many rain chances? Oh, sorry. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. Rain chances the next few days here. Uh, we will have a chance tonight into tomorrow, but that's about it. We look at our satellite and radar right now, and we can see uh, clear skies over all the region right now. We'll continue to see that today. Uh, temperatures are right now mostly in the 20s. We do have some 30s as well. Bit Minot at 32, Dickinson 31, Mobridge at 32 as well. As we take a look at the last few uh, days, the last really since the start of the month, that first few days of the month were below average and we started to get into that first full week of November and we were at average for many of those days and then we've gotten to the last few days since Sunday and we've been above average we're seeing 16 14 and 16 uh, just quite a bit above average we'll stay like that tomorrow we'll be below but the rest of the days we are going to stay above average for at least this week wind speeds and directions five to let's go 15 miles per hour mostly from the south southwest these winds will pick up at times today wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour but it's going to be tomorrow that we have the windy days we look at our wind gusts uh, we can see tomorrow a northwest wind 15 to 30 miles per hour those gusts up to 50 miles per hour especially areas down south of Bismarck to South Dakota that's where the heaviest wind is going to be even all the way out to southeast Jamestown south as well is going to be see heavy winds and then on Friday you're looking at a west wind 10 to 20 with gusts up to 30 miles per hour so a few windy days up ahead and this is going to carry over into the weekend Saturday looks to be breezy Sunday may be the calmest day that we have and then the winds are going to pick right back up on Monday into Tuesday up to maybe 25 miles per hour once again. So we got a few windy days ahead. Your absolute comfort plumbing and heating wind chill report is showing we have teens and 20s. You're going to need to wear that hat this morning. Maybe some gloves as you get out and about. You may even have some ice on the car. Uh, mine didn't this morning. Didn't see any more, but you could have some areas that could have some ice that is building on those cars as you get out and about for your morning activities and highs this afternoon are showing us. We do have a 48 up in Botano, but the rest of the north is looking at mid to lower 50s as you move down to the south to get more of those mid to upper 50s. Even that those 60s start to appear. The southwest corner of the state will be the warmest of pretty much the whole region as we get through the day. 61 in Dickinson, uh, 62 in Bowman. You're looking at 55 in Bismarck, but wind surprise with areas like Bismarck and Flasher also get a little bit warmer today as we get through the afternoon. Wind surprise we get closer to 60s there. No matter how much sun we do get down to the south central. Precision cast isn't showing us much today. Again, clear skies. Have a nice sunrise this morning. By about midday, cloud cover will try to start to build itself should still have the sun up, but as we get through the night tonight, we'll start to see a rain chance associated with the front and a low pressure system that's moving uh, through the region. That's going to bring in rain to start the night. We'll eventually turn into ice, snow, and rain as we get through uh, the night into tomorrow morning. So areas up to the north northwest, you could be looking at pretty slick conditions uh, up to this north northwest corner. Now accumulations look relatively light. You might have a light dusting, uh, but then the system's going to move to the south southeast and it's going to struggle. It may not even reach Bismarck Mandan area. Uh, Dickinson and might get a light uh, rain or snow there, but nothing that's going to accumulate. Then by Thursday afternoon, we're dry, and that starts a drier pattern as we get towards the end of the week, into the weekend of sunshine. We see that on our Williston five day forecast thir uh, 50s today, 30s tomorrow, 40s for your Friday. Then those 50s on Saturday and Sunday should have plenty of sunshine there. Your Dickinson five day forecast 60s today, 40s tomorrow, 50s for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Your might not seven day forecast uh, that's showing us 50s today, 30s tomorrow, 40s for Friday. Then those 50s for the weekend, but we see that cool down pretty quickly back to average Monday, Tuesday in that lower 40s. Your Bismarck seven day forecast 50s today, 40s tomorrow and Friday, 50s for your weekend. And then again, dropping to the lower 40s, even at average though, Monday and Tuesday. Well, I need to park my be able to park my van outside for a little longer without having to worry about ice. Aaron finally got like the lawnmowers and snowblowers cleaned in, out of the garage so uh -huh. I could park in there. And then yesterday's like, don't ask me what's in the garage. Oh. There's a shed. In oh. our garage. <laughs> in a box? No, oh. it's like in pieces on right. our garage floor. A, yeah, okay. Right. So is it a she shed? 
Uh, don't know what a she shed is. It, it's it's for for ladies who need some time away. And oh, instead of instead yeah. of a man cave. So it could be shed? it could be for you. Uh, hi. I mean, he's gonna instead of the dog house, he's gonna throw me in the she <laughs> shed. Okay. <Yeah>. Yeah. <laughs> right. Maybe that's what it's meant for. Maybe that's why he didn't want me to ask. Oh. Maybe, maybe. oh okay. Oh. We'll find out as long as he decorates it nicely. Still to come on Good Day to Code of the.